Hello everyone, today I asked you guys to submit your custom kits, and today I'm going to review them if I like them, if I think they're likely, and how good they would be. This is all possible thanks to Yago's Kit Maker, so be sure to check it out in the description if you want to make it your own, and with that out of the way, be sure to subscribe if you enjoy, and let's go through your kits. First up is a kit by Chase for Touch Dooley with Burst Bomb and Trizuka, so I already know a bit of your thoughts on this because I've seen your video on your ideal Dooley kits, and yeah, I agree that I think Burst Bomb just isn't going to happen. I think Trizuka is somewhat interesting, it might have been better on something like the Dapple Dooley, but considering Dapple already got Slider, I think it's possible. Personally, the special I really want on Tetra would be Zipcaster, but I think Trizuka definitely works and would be interesting for it, giving an option for longer range threats, and of course, having 210 points for special would be fair considering the Burst Bomb, which would be really hard to charge with how little Tetra paints. I think it'd be interesting, it wouldn't completely break the game, but they'd probably never do Burst Bomb. Splattershot Jr. with Suction Bomb and Missile. No, I don't need Double Missile to be a thing. I especially don't need it to be a thing with a weapon that will never fight ever with it. This is just K shot that fights even less and is less healthy for the game, so I'm good. If you like Missile, that's good for you, but I'd rather that not be on this weapon in the video game. Sloshy would like Torpedo Try Zuka. I think this could be a really interesting Soda Slosher kit. Zuka is something we've seen on the Slosher in Splatoon 1, and it does work quite well for it, and Torpedo would be a nice combo sub, a bit of a mixture of a compromise between Sloshers wanting Burst Bomb and something more reasonable, and of course giving away to counter weapons like Chargers with the Torpedo is also useful, so I think this would be a well-rounded kit that would probably be fair and definitely the strongest kit that Bucket would have in the game right now if it were to be a thing. Whale says Burst Booyah Dynamo. I do think Burst or Wave are very likely to happen for Dynamo, but that being said, I don't think it's going to get a Burst Bomb. It definitely needs one with how bad it is right now, but I don't think that's the route they're going to do. It would still be really fun if it happened and Burst Bomb being a paint tool and something that doesn't use too much ink is really useful for this weapon. Again, I just don't see it happening. Koma said, I call this the Heavy Spotlight 2.0 few charge player's edition with Squid Beacon and Trizuka. As much as I like Beacon on Splatlings, I feel like Ballpoint is just the perfect pick for it to the point where I don't think anything else really has a chance of getting it. And I do think Trizuka would be fun on it for sure. It would be great at dealing with charges, of course, but I'm not sure if it's the best thing for a weapon already this far back. It would definitely be a fun kit though, so I could see where you're coming from. Lepton wants the braided Tristringer. Nice little custom look there with Beacon and Inkstorm. I think Tristringer is definitely something where we could see a Beacon beacon on it. It is a more mobile backline, and it's different enough from ballpoints where I think it could have its own niche. Of course, between that and custom leader, I'm not sure if they would do it, but I would love more beacon weapons on backlines. I think it's very healthy and very strong, and Inkstorm would be great to combo with the weapon, especially since it can do a lot of damage even if it doesn't finish someone off, and it would help its painting weakness, which would make it way better in splat zones. Yes, I know, this is just ballpoints kit, but I think it'd be cooler here, and I don't think ballpoints gonna get Storm again because they gave it to Nautilus. Alex says, hoping big Swig gets better kit in the future. I think this would give it more utility than now. Fizzy Bomb and Ink Storm. Once again with the Storm, useful to make up for the weapon's damage while keeping it support orientated. I do think trying to outpaint a Swig that also has a rain would be one of the most painful things ever. And Fizzy would be fine. It would help it move around, but I'm not sure if it would be the best to fight. Overall though, I think I want Swig to get a more versatile, aggressive kit. And I think while this gives it more tools than its current kit, I'd prefer something that would help it more in the other modes. That's where it really struggles right now. Livia wants a fun C jet with Burst Bomb and Whale. I've talked about this before, but to keep Jet Squelcher from being an unhealthy backline weapon that kills diversity, I think it should not have a special with that much range. I think it should have less range than the main weapon itself, in which I think Whale wouldn't be the worst thing ever because it's still a more healthy displacement special than Missile, but it's definitely not something I want back in the game. I would prefer a more aggressive option. Dark says, I think this could be very likely for Empire Dualies, as other weapons have had recycled kits from two parts of them. And yeah, I agree. I think Burst Bomb on Dually was fair. It was one of the combinations I liked, especially since Dooley is more ink hungry than it was at the start of Splatoon 2. And I think Inkjet is, of course, very fun on this weapon. We need more Inkjet weapons and having Dodrills for the recall is amazing. I think between this or Curling Bomb Zipcaster, one of those two would probably be the end parry, just whichever hybrid they want. Or they could give it Missile again and make everybody hate the weapon, but I'm hoping they don't do that. Brandon says a more supportive take on Dooley Squelcher. It'd be able to use Whale well due to its mobility and it's a reference to the custom Dual Squelcher from Splatoon 1, which also had Beacon Whale. Yeah, it's a really cool reference. I don't think it should be 190p, that would be very broken, but I do think an entry tool special on the Squelcher would be fine since it got Wave Breaker, which is more supportive already, and helping its damage is the main thing this weapon needs, which it would definitely do that. I also think that mid-range weapons with Beacon are usually fine, and this would be one of the better ones since it is something with very high mobility that doesn't struggle to get into
too much, and I think it would work very well with comps that like to play around Dually Squelcher. Luma Ace said 190 p with the Torpedo and Booyah Bomb for the Brella. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't think they're gonna give Brella any form of an HP special. Could be wrong because there are a decent amount of them, but I'm just really unsure they'll do that for the normal one. I think they're too afraid for it. That being said, Torpedo is what I want. I think Kunder is gonna get it instead, but I'm still hopeful for it, and Booyah Bomb would still synergize very well with this thing. I think it would be a fine kit, not the best thing for it, but definitely something that's functional. Pika says, I have no doubt they'll give Tacticaler to Umbrella, and I desperately hope it's Tent. I'd say I disagree. If anything, I hope that Tacticaler would be on the normal Brella, and I believe a kit has it later, in which I'll talk about why I think Tac with normal Brella is really good. As for the Splash Wall, eh, I really don't like it. I think the Tent is fine. I know that the Shield's HP is weaker in this game, and a wall could be useful for that, but really, I don't see it. And on top of that, the normal Tent kit is already really supportive, so I think giving it another support orientated tent wouldn't fit really well. It would just kind of clash with the first one instead of giving opportunities for new playstyles. Johnny says, needed so bad for the Splattershot Nova with Splat Bomb and Wavebreaker. I definitely like this kit. I think this weapon needs things to make up for the damage so it could be more aggressive, and Wavebreaker would combo very well with this weapon. It's something that Killer Will also does on the normal kit, and giving it a bomb since it's had a utility sub the first time makes sense. I will say I think Burst Bomb is actually more likely considering this weapon is similar to Aerospray and they didn't give it to Aerospray, and I think it would be fair on it, so my hope would be something like Burst Bomb Wavebreaker, honestly. I think that would be super fun. Storm says 200p for the special with the Ballpoint kit with Beacon and Killer Will. I think pretty much every Ballpoint wants the Beacon back. It was just such a good combination for it. I'd be really surprised if they didn't keep it, and I'm fine with Whale. I think having something to deal with Chargers, the main counter for the weapon, makes sense, and it would also be useful if it was more aggressive to fight with the short range mode, so yeah, I would be fine with this. Zeal says I think this kit is self-explanatory, and yep, Suction Big Bubble, obviously very similar to the Splatoon 2 H3D kit. I'll say I'm not actually the biggest fan of Suction Bomb on H3. I don't think it helps it too much, it's just a usual poking bomb, and with the extra ink efficiency the weapon's gone since the Splatoon 2 nerfs, I actually don't really like it. Bubble is good though, I definitely think it needs a protection special. I'm just not sure this would be as good a kit as people think it would be, and I think H3 needs something even better than this to stand a chance in this meta, honestly. Johan wants Burst Bomb and Wave Breaker. I'm kind of okay with it. Wavebreaker is less global range, so it's fine. I've never had a problem with the burst bomb. I still think it'd be a little too good, and mainly my problem with this is I think it would compete with heavy too much and kind of pushed heavy out of the way, so that wouldn't be great, but I think it would still be fine. If they put this in the game, I think heavy would still have a few places it could be used in, so sure, I would be okay if this is what they went for with Jet Squelcher. It not being unhealthy for the game is really all I care about with this weapon second kit. So curious to see what they give it. Luna says, Burst would give Reflux better movement and range, along with comboing off the 90 damage hit. Zuka would allow it to be more aggro than the missile spamming vanilla kit. Yeah, I agree. I think an aggressive kit would be more healthy. It would give playstyle options and, you know, make the weapon actually show off a bit of why it's cool rather than being a missile spammer. Hard agree? Good kit. Fantastic said, wasn't a fan of Sniper Rider's current kit, so I wanted to give it something that could shake it up. Squid Beacon for extra support and Wade Breaker. More beacons on backline weapons. This is another really good combination because, again, it's a very fast strafing weapon. The ink efficiency might come into contact a bit, but I still think it's solid there, and I really like the wave breaker. Basically gives it the ability to one-shot people if they get hit with the wave, and the location effect is useful for it. I really think that's a strong combination, and even the meat shielding capability of wave breaker could be useful for this weapon. Super cool kit. Also, I like that the name is 2B. It's just another pencil thingy. You, you guys know what I mean. I don't know, FA says, do I actually want Stamper Dap Angle Shooter plus wave breaker necessarily? No. Am I worried this happens in Sheldon Ghost? It's a great combo because if enemies get hit, they're down to charge swing. Yes. Yeah, I think Angle Shooter is decently likely, which makes me a little sad because I don't think it'd work on it. Even if Angle Shooter was buffed really well, this just isn't really something that struggles with anything that Angle Shooter would help it with, and I don't think the location effect helps it very much for it either. Wave is fine though, it's a good combo, and I think it works all right. It's not something I think like that's an exceptional special main combination, but it's definitely one where it's fine. I don't really have an ideal stamper kit personally, I just want something that's a bit more versatile than the aggressive kit it has right now, especially to work better on zone maps, and I mean, this would kind of do it, especially if it had a bomb instead of a line marker. Mitch said, this is called Area Denial. We have another Swig Kit with Beacon and Wavebreaker. Another weapon I really like Beacon on just because it gives it something else to do other than paint, and Wavebreaker can make up for the damage and control space along with the main weapon. Very good synergy. Pretty much everything this guy said here is accurate. I think it's decently likely, and I think this is a cool kit. Isabella with the pink Tetradulies with Fizzy Bomb and Zipcaster. And this is the kind of kit I would lean to more for Tetra, honestly. I think Zipcaster would just be so fun with either this thing or the normal 
double dually, but I definitely lean to Tetra with just how deep it could go in with the zip caster. It'd just be so fun. And Fizzy Bomb giving a poking tool and a maneuverability option would be great. Tetra just deserves a good kit. I hope it gets something really fun with the next kit it gets. Mellow says displacement focused mini kit. Torpedo helps against slow long range weapons while mini walls out short range and damage combos very well for a three shot. Even with the 12 hit from the Torp exploding, they have thought about this. And Storm gives mini displacement to help advance. Yeah, I think a displacement kit would make sense for a third mini kit. We have a supportive one and an aggressive one, so displacement would be the third one we're lacking, and this would work very well with it. I like it. Glacial says the CRB with Splat Bomb Ultra Stamp. I'll be honest, this is just the most fun range blaster they could put in the game. From playing Splatoon 1, I have honestly learned that having an aggressive playmaking special is what made this weapon so fun to me, and especially recently I've understood that. I think Stamp would do that while still being good for it. It gives you a way to defend yourself, it's nice under ledges where the main weapon would be, but where it would struggle if people got too close, it could break object specials, and the throw mode is just sick. It definitely wouldn't be the strongest balance-wise, obviously Stamp isn't great right now, but I think it would still be really fun, and if they buff the special or the weapon a bit, I could see it being good, as well as having a unique playstyle. Plus, the color is nice. Goldeb wants the Squid Wave Glue Gadoolies with Fizzy Bomb and Inkjet. And yeah, I think this is the good combinations from the parts of the kits that worked with it previously. Mine isn't great on this thing, but Fizzy is, and Armor was fine on it, but I don't think Tactic Cooler would work well with Glue Gadoolie, but Inkjet would work amazing. Having a recall would be awesome. It makes a lot more sense here, so I think it works. And honestly, I just think that the Fizzy Bomb and Inkjet both individually have good synergy with each other. Like, you get to throw Fizzy and move with it to set up your Inkjet recall. It's just a nice little bit of main sub special synergy that I really enjoy. Beta wants Burst Bomb, Big Bubbler, Undercover Brella. I think we're probably going to get Torpedo Inkstorm because it had Inkstorm in the Direct and Torpedo in the third kit worked well. But I mean, if they really weren't sure how to make Undercover good, I think Burst Bomb would totally be fair. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Bubble would be very good team-wise, though I do think it lacks the ability to give the weapon assist, which is very important for giving it its shield back. So I think something else would be a little bit better. Flota says Splat Brella needs a bomb and Tactic Cooler provides more support for the team while especially upping Brella's movement in combat. I think this would be especially interesting because Brella right now needs to run pretty much all swim and run speed to be able to keep up. And if they ended up giving it Tactic Cooler, Brella could run very unique and different gear than it normally could. And that gives it access to way more options than it had right now. I think it'd be super interesting. And I really like the idea of giving it to that weapon. Splat Bomb's a little ink hungry. It's fine. It's still a Splat Bomb. But I think something cheaper like Auto Bomb, Torpedo, or Fizzy would work a little bit better if you want to stick with the bomb. Hypnos wants Angle Shooter Tena Missiles. As I said on my second channel video, I think missiles on a backline weapon that competes with flings it to ensure double missile would be a good option Nintendo could do with it, and Bamboo wouldn't output too many of them, and Line Marker would be fine. Obviously, the tap shots work well in order to defend yourself, but I think having a way to finish off people at a distance could at least be interesting. I think this is fine at the time being. Vapor wants Ink Mine Ink Vacuum Custom Explosher. If they were to go for something that would work with the weapon in terms of protecting yourself and being a team-based thing, I think this would work out really well. I like the idea of it. I do think Ink Vacuum would struggle with the lack of mobility, but it wouldn't be too bad, and mine would have amazing combo synergy for the location and the damage, allowing it to defend itself or set up really useful traps it could capitalize on. I like the kit. I would really enjoy playing this if it happened. Shark over here thinks it would be an interesting combo to have Toxic Mist Zipcaster. I do think Mist returning would be fine. It wouldn't be amazing, but if the Splash was still 200 or 190, it would be okay at getting it special. And Zipcaster on Splash would be way too fun with the lack of jump RNG. Yeah, it just sounds fun. It makes the most sense in terms of shooters to get Zipcaster. I would like to see it. Last up, Spore says, I still stand by Torpedo Crab being busted for it, but something like this would go hard. I do think Beacon could work on Ink Brush. It wouldn't be amazing and it would still struggle to get in, but it's a weapon that survived without a bomb before and I think it could be okay. And Wavebreaker would be all right on it as well, would just set up a bit more mayhem for the enemy team to deal with. And we would definitely have Wavebreakers in more aggressive spots than most weapons, but I don't think it's something that combos off it super well. Definitely a unique kit to say the least. And that is all the custom kits I have time to review for. Let me know if you guys like this and maybe I'll do a part two sometime and I'll see you all later.